there's basically two concepts here online um, that have developed. One is the permanent downloads, and the other is um, you know, streaming uses. Um, so download is like iTunes, and streaming is like when you listen to something on Rhapsody, you just press, you know, you press the button and you can listen to it now. Uh, but it doesn't make a permanent copy. Or at least it's not designed to make a permanent copy. Um, so what happens is uh, that those two situations are viewed very differently right now. And um, for a download, it's considered to be more like a traditional record sale. And a stream is considered to be more like a performance, like radio. So what happens is the, uh, the, the, the trend has come about now, um, the practice developed so that the, it's really the, um, when you look at a download, like an iTunes download, it's, it's the um, record company who is responsible for paying the publisher. And that's because that's what they do for, uh, for when they make records too. <clears throat> now, the way I understand it, I've heard of a lot of people now saying that the record labels aren't doing that, that they're collecting the money, but somehow those statements never really get generated and they're not really paying the publishers. Um, and I think that's a shame if that's true. Uh, you know, uh, I would hope that, you know, that the publishers are getting paid too. And you know, certainly I don't think it helps the record company's reputation to, uh, to not pay, but maybe they don't care, I don't know. Um, now on the other side, the, uh, on streaming, then it's usually the service that is responsible for that. So like for instance, Rhapsody, you know, would, is responsible for, uh, it, typically, I mean a company like Rhapsody, I don't really know what Rhapsody's deal is, but you know, a company like Rhapsody would typically be responsible for clearing the publishing themselves, which is a nightmare. Um, we've done projects here, I've done projects where, uh, you know, we have clients that want to use maybe 100, 200,000 songs um, in something that they're doing and to find the ownership of that is, you know, of all those songs is just a nightmare because things change over time. It's, information isn't really publicly available even though there's nothing particularly secret about it. It's just, it's not managed very well. So it's a very, very inefficient process, uh, which is probably why you don't see too many um, people out there doing streaming stuff or at least, you know, on-demand streaming like Rhapsody because it's, it's a nightmare trying to clear all that publishing. <clears throat> 